G'day and welcome to another episode of Mr. Code's STEAM podcast where we learn about science and technology after school. Today, we're building a face tracking camera called Spy Prime using Lego Spike Prime and the Raspberry Pi build hat. The sponsor of today's video is More Educational, who has kindly provided the LEGO Spike Prime kit. More about them later in the video. Last time we used the Raspberry Pi build hat, we made a computer vision powered robot arm built with the LEGO Mindstorm's robot inventor. However, what I found surprising was the delay in camera and motor functions when I was making the robot arm. There was something like a three or four second delay uh, between the camera seeing my face or, or, or my hands and my hand gestures and actually manipulating the motors on the robot arm. For today's project Spy Prime, however, it's going to be a lot easier to make and I hope that the performance will also be better. We're still using OpenCV for the computer vision, but we don't need media pipe. So it's going to be a great first project if you want to experiment with the build hat. These are the materials you'll need. In case you're new to using Python, you can check out my Python for Spike Prime playlist over here. And I spend a lot of time making tutorial videos just like these. So if they help you out in any way, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making coding videos. So I thank you in advance. You can also support me by downloading the PDF instructions in my link below. For the price of a cup of coffee, you can get detailed instructions for Spy Prime in PDF format uh, that you can print out and read comfortably while building. If not, that's okay. I'll walk you through the build process in a moment. Let's build Spy Prime. So after you've built Spy Prime, we're going to install the Raspberry Pi OS onto your Raspberry Pi. Uh, download this Raspberry Pi imaging software, it's very easy to use. And then you plug in your micro SD card into your SD card adapter. It could be a USB adapter, or in my case it's a, whoops, it's an SD card adapter. And then you plug it into your computer. And what we want to do is choose the Raspberry Pi Buster OS. So uh, as of this date, we need to uh, go into Raspberry Pi OS Other. And then look for Raspberry Pi 
Legacy, this one. So this is the one that says uh, Debian Buster. Click on that. Choose a storage device. Make sure that you choose the SD card that you have put in. Don't choose any other drive unless you want to completely erase it, okay? Uh, you click on this uh, little um, cog down here and then you can uh, name your uh, build hat and your Raspberry Pi. So here are just some of the things that I'm doing. I'm setting my host name to build hat. Uh, I'm setting my username and password. And then I'm also configuring my Wi-Fi details. After you are happy with all the settings, you hit save. And then you write the contents. Agree. If anything pops up, just close it or cancel it. All right, now that we have installed the operating system onto the micro SD card, we're going to have to plug this into your Raspberry Pi. All right, so here is Spy Prime. What you gotta do is lift off the uh, Raspberry Pi really gently. And then down the bottom, you'll see that there is this slot for the micro SD card. Oops, I'll just move it to the side. Here's the slot for the micro SD card. Uh, grab your micro SD card and then you slide it in firmly into that slot and then you rest it back onto the top just like that. What you got to do next is plug in a keyboard and mouse onto the USB uh, ports on the side here and then you're going to also plug in a monitor onto uh, one of these HDMI ports uh, down here. After you have the, the monitor, the mouse and the keyboard all plugged in, then you got to use the Raspberry Pi build hat power supply to plug into the build hat. You don't use the USB-C power supply. If you used, um, uh, if you've done any of the old Raspberry Pi projects, you might use the USB-C power supply. Uh, we don't use that. So we're using only the uh, build hat power supply and that's going to power the whole system. Uh, after you power that up, you follow my next steps so that we can fully set up your Raspberry Pi. Okay, once you have loaded up your Raspberry Pi, you should see this desktop screen. What we want to do is go up to the Raspberry Pi menu, and then we go to Preferences, go to uh, Raspberry Pi Configuration, And then here we want to turn on, go, go to interfaces and turn on your camera so that it is enabled. After you've turned on the camera, we want to turn on the serial port, so enable your serial port and then disable your serial console as well. You click on OK and then it's going to ask you to restart the Raspberry Pi. After you have restarted, we go to the terminal in this uh, black icon up at the top. And then in this terminal area, we're going to type in the following. sudo, whoops, sudo apt hyphen get space update to ampersands and then sudo apt get upgrade. So this is going to uh, update all of our packages and also uh, download any upgrades as well. If it asks you for a prompt, you just type in the letter Y, press OK, and enter. All right, that took about five minutes, but we've installed all of our updates. Now the next command we're going to type is sudo apt-get install python hyphen opencv space python 3 hyphen opencv space opencv hyphen data. All right, so this is going to install opencv for us. Okay, so opencv is installed. Now we're going to install the build hat library. So we go sudo pip3 install build hat.
That's it, super quick. The next step is to download my Python file from the GitHub link in the description below so that we can activate the spy prime code and also walk through the code logic. But before we do that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creator Academy started making LEGO education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They are an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 20 years experience working with LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you check out the More Educational website. Let's check out the code. All right, so here we have downloaded the spy prime Python file. We right click on it and then open it with Thony Python IDE. Click on that. First, we import the OpenCV uh, libraries and then we also import the build hat motor library. Uh, and then down here, we're setting the frame width and height. I don't want to make the frame too big because then the um, the video might lag a little bit. And then we set up the X and Y motor. The X motor is the motor that goes sideways and the Y motor is the motor that goes vertically. Uh, make sure that the motors are in the right port. So motor X, oh, well the X motor is on uh, port C and then the Y motor is at port B. Next what we do is we uh, run our motors to the zero position uh, for the Y motor, I'm moving it slightly up because that's what I find is the most natural angle. And then here we have an infinite loop where we are uh, checking for the person's face. Uh, if there is a face detected, then it's going to be added to the faces um, list. But if there are no faces, then we stop the motors because we don't want to move the motors if we can't see any faces. So here we are looking for the middle of the face uh, so that we use it as a reference point for checking if our camera is pointing towards the face or not. And then here we have our horizontal movement. So if we are uh, drifting towards the left of the screen, then the motor is going to move to the left. Uh, and then if we're drifting towards the right of the screen, it's going to move towards the right. Uh, I also had the vertical movement as well, but uh, I'm finding that there's too much delay between the camera movement and uh, the motor movement. So uh, I couldn't get this to work properly. It's, uh, it's too jerky and uh, it usually swings way past um, my face, but maybe someone will be able to get this to work in the future. And then finally, we are just showing the, um, the screen and showing the window. So let's uh, run the code. Oh, and also if you press the Q key on the keyboard, it will also quit the program. So uh, let's have a go at running this. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, tracking. So as you can see, as I move my head to the side, the uh, camera is actually looking for my face and is trying to keep it in the middle. And move to the other side. It still works. Uh, it's not as responsive as I as I hoped. Uh, I think there's a, a delay caused by I think maybe the um, the build hat uh, motor is not um, uh, super responsive compared to something like the um, uh, the Spike Prime Hub. But you can tell that it is definitely working. Uh, it's just uh, you, you just need to give it a little bit of time to um, uh, to find the face and then also to send the signal to the motor. Oop! It sort of went off to the side there, but it's going to recover uh, and move the camera back. Okay. So. Am I happy with this result? I think it is a, a, a pretty good prototype, but I think in the future when there are more patches for the build hat uh, and also if there are faster Raspberry Pis, uh, I think that this can uh, be a great alternative to a pan and tilt um, uh, attachment for the, um, the Raspberry Pi. 
And don't forget, this is just Lego, right? This is, this is a Lego robot that is recognizing my face and trying to follow my face around. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this Spy Prime project. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do you have any suggestions on what kind of projects we can tackle with the build hat in the future? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.